Well, tonight, you guys, I'm excited about tonight's topic because it's social media. And social media is one of those things that just gets me excited because it's forever changing. It gives me something new to learn, something new to do. And for my personality, that's actually really good. But sometimes it can be kind of frustrating because you feel like you're, you're kind of trying to play catch up. And so tonight, I... I'm excited to share the content that I want to share, but more so even some up and coming things um, that I'm putting together and been working on for you guys so that beyond this call, you've got lots of great information and places to go, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, to get some good information when it comes to growing your social media. So first of all, um, for anyone who does not know me, my name is Lisa Medina. I am the founder of Team Wildfire. I am more importantly a mom, just like many of you guys, army wife, and absolutely love what I do. Started coaching four years ago, and since then, my life has absolutely changed. And so I'm excited just to be able to share this information with you, and we're just going to dig right in from there, okay? The first thing we're going to talk about is the September promotions, you guys. And please bear with me. I'm going to give you guys a heads up. All of, a lot of you guys' faces that I'm seeing, y'all know me. You know, I have horrible allergies. <laughs> it's just what it is. So if I sneeze or I have to take a drink of water, just bear with me. Um, it's that time of year for me. But this month, there are a lot of promotions. So I put the FAQ at the bottom of here. It's 10.05. Or 10 uh, go check it out. If you are kind of clueless to what's going on, all the packs that are in sale, go check it out. Uh, the Success Club Prize is a beach body yoga mat, which I'm super thrilled about because we're doing Pio and we just committed to the fact that we have to order or came to the conclusion, I guess would be the better way to say it, that we have to order another uh, jump mat. So I'm excited to try the yoga mat because we have one jump mat, which is amazing, the, the beach body jump mat, but I won in another success club um, promotion, but we have a regular yoga mat that's a little bit thicker and it's crazy for Pio. So we're really excited about this one. Um, and we've still got time, you guys. We've got time. It, we've got what, a week or two? Two weeks almost left in this month. So make sure that you guys are sending out your invites following up with all of your maybes, your no's, um, and the people who haven't responded yet, Go ahead and follow up. Remember, it's our job to show them that we care. And that's what we do. When we follow up, it shows that we actually care. Okay, so what will we be covering tonight? Obviously, we're going to talk about social media. But some of the things that we're going to be covering tonight is sharing consistently and coach credibility. Um, your niche or niche, whichever one you want to say it. I believe it's properly pronounced niche, but you may uh, hear me call it niche. Uh, how to share a video and get more engagement. That's something that Melissa shared one time for us. And there were some questions recently about it. I even had some questions about it. And when I rewatched her video where she shared how to do it, it had cut out one very, very important piece. And that's what I want to really share with you guys tonight, as well as another video that you can go watch. It is one minute long, I think one minute, 30 seconds. And it shows you exactly what to do. makes it really simple um, because this is huge. And then things to look out in our team photo albums. Last week on the team call, we really talked about ideas um, and things that we can do to share with each other and grow. And this is one of the things I've been working on that I feel like will really help every single one of us grow our business. So I'm excited about it. Okay, you guys. First off. Okay, I can't make that happen. Okay, sharing consistently equals coach credibility. So I'm going to talk about this just for a brief moment. I'm not going to stay here too, too long because we all know that sharing consistently is, is what we have to do. Getting ourselves out there and in front of people, if we're not doing that, we don't have a business. They don't see us basically going on a journey, okay? So we've got to share our stories consistently with them. So number one, your coaching journey. What has coaching done for your life? And if you're ever wondering, okay, what should I really be talking about on social media? Um, right now, my head is is blank sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but I'll log in. I'm like, okay, I know I need to post. <laughs> this is a really good time. My niche market is on. 
I should have something going, but I have nothing. I, I don't, I don't know what to post. This is one of the things that you need to ask yourself. What has coaching done in your life already? Because those are the things that you can be breadcrumbing as we call it and sharing along the way. And then what will it do for your life? Share your vision. Share your vision with your audience. A lot of the times I think that we um, feel like we're talking just to our family and our friends. And sometimes in the beginning we kind of are, but you have to think past that if you want to grow a business. I got on the um, team page this morning and shared a little bit about how to rock your business as a CEO. My internet was having some issues, um, so I think some of it cut out. But I want you to remember you guys, if you were Carl Dykler walking into a big building and you knew you were the CEO, everyone was looking at you for answers, that if you decided just not to show up, that things weren't going to go so great, I mean, you're the head guy, then you would run your business a lot differently if we started looking at ourselves like that. And that's what I'm asking you guys, challenging you guys, first challenging myself to start acting like that, thinking like that. Becky and I had a conversation about it last week, and ever since then I was like, you know what, yes, this is a new thing I gotta remind myself of, because sometimes, just like me, I just came out of the season where we're moving, it can be one small thing for you that's brand new in your life, or messing up your schedule, and you can start feeling like, oh, I can't get a grip on this, you know, I'm a little off, or whatever the case may be. But when you stop and you say no, I'm going to treat my business like a business. I'm going to do what I need to do. And then I'm cutting it off and living my life. But I'm going to be the CEO. I'm the boss. I'm going to run this thing. I'm going to put everything I got into it in that time. And I'm going to treat my business like a business. Then you will get a return like a business. And that's what we want to help you guys do here. So what will it do for your life? If you know that you are treating your business like a business, what are you dreaming for? What are you having a vision for? What dream are you going to create with this business in your life? Share those things on social media and allow people to watch it happen, watch it unfold because it will. And that's crazy exciting, you guys. Crazy exciting. Number two, dream or income goals, big or small, kind of just touched on that. What are those dreams? Do you want to be debt free? Today I shared um, something on Instagram. <laughs> it was super small, but it tied into my income goal. It, well, a big dream for me to be debt free, me and my husband. And it was my front doormat. I've I don't know. I love decorating. Okay. Moved into a new house and my doormat, you know how the wording starts to rub off? Well, it had started rubbing off. It was looking a little old and I seen this new doormat. Okay. Um, and it just basically says home sweet home. Very simple, but it's a good 20, 30, maybe even 40 bucks at Target. A pop. But I looked at that doormat and I thought, I got a Sharpie. Let's fix this thing up. Right. We Sharpied it back in. It looks brand new. I took a picture of it with my feet, super simple post, but I made some fun about it and basically shared, hey, got a money saving tip for you guys and shared in there that our goal reminded them because in the beginning of the year, I'd shared that we are going to be debt free this year. And I shared that in there. Um, so find a way to share your goals. It doesn't have to be like, I owe X amount of money, you know, and <laughs> you don't need to go into detail, but find a fun way to share your goals on your social media. Number three, your story. We're going to get a little bit more into this, but you guys, your story is what separates you from every other beach body coach out there. Be the real you. Don't try to fake this until you make it because you will be doing the world and yourself a great disservice. Okay? Be the real you. Share your story or stories. You've got multiple stories. Share them. Be you. Number four, your obstacles and struggles. How did or how are you overcoming them? This is how you share parts of your story. Okay, so the obstacles and struggles from the past. Um, let's see if we can get everybody muted here. I think we've got like a few people unmuted. Just want to make sure we get that noise. There we go. All right, you guys. So make sure that you ask yourself and remind yourself 
you know, what did you have to overcome in the past? Many of you guys, if you've been following me at all, you know I've shared um, a big struggle that I overcame when I was a young teenage um, single mom, okay? Something that I've had so many people say, I'm so grateful that you shared that. I can relate on so many different levels. Something that took me two years to share, but it's a part of my struggle, and I share things that I did to overcome or whatever the case may be, but it also makes me relatable. Perfect isn't relatable, okay? And I remember having that fear of what will people think about me? Will they start unfollowing me? Will they discredit me as a, you know, a business owner or a, a wife, a mother, whatever? What are they going to think? Who cares what they think? Who cares what they think? Share you. It is a part of you, so share it, okay? Adding value should be 70% of what you share on social media. I know if you're anything like me, you hear that and you automatically go to, because I'm a perfectionist, I'm like, okay, what kind of great information can I share? I've got to find this amazing, you know, um, topic or article, or I've, I've got to come up with all these amazing tips, you guys. Anything that your niche will find useful or interesting is adding value. I guarantee you all my hardworking mamas who are either trying to pinch pennies, they are either tight or they're trying to get out of debt or something like that. They're going to go out there with a freaking Sharpie and they're going to magic marker up their, you know, their front door mat because ain't nobody got time to spend $40 in another door mat when yours is perfectly fine. You just can use the Sharpie to fix it up a little bit and, you know, save that money or spend it in an area where you actually really needed it to be spent. So anything your niche market, your niche might be a totally different market than mine, but anything that they will find useful and interesting, share it 70% of the time, okay? So it doesn't have to be your story 70% of the time. It's adding value. Number six, share where you're at on your fitness journey, okay? What obstacles, let me move this a little bit. Uh-oh, this thing is. You guys got to bear with me. I'm getting back into the whole slideshow thing. <laughs> All right, so share where you're at on your fitness journey. What obstacles do you have to overcome to maintain a fit lifestyle? That's key. If you're ever wondering what to post, write that down. What obstacles do you, not me, not your mama, not a busy working woman if you're a stay-at-home mom, what obstacles do you have to overcome to live the healthy and fit lifestyle that you're living? Share the ways, um, or sharing the way is the only way to inspire people. So if you are working full time and yet somehow you're fitting in your workouts and food prep and everything else and everybody else is looking at you like, I can never do that. Well, if you share the way, then you inspire them. Hold on, wait. If she can do it, then I can do this. That's how you inspire. So make sure that you guys are sharing that. I am actually, that is one that for me, I'm working on more and more. Number seven, share your personal development. That's one of the reasons it's so key. One, it's gonna help you grow and overcome in so many areas of your life, but I can't tell you how many times I've read something, but like, oh my gosh, my highlighter is like going crazy and I've got posts for days because of the personal development book. So make sure you guys are sharing that as well. All right, you guys, Meech. I'm going to briefly talk about this a little bit. There's a few pointers here that I would write down, especially if you ever are like, okay, what do I need to post? For one, this is the target audience that you want to reach, okay? A part of the definition that I found for this was a small, specialized section of the population. That's what I want you to think. I know you're probably thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to narrow it down? Trust me, you do. I came into this business thinking, why would I ever do that? I want to talk to everybody. Whoever wants to challenge pack, come and talk to me. We're ready to go. You know, that's not how people are going to truly connect. We are in a, a relationship building business. So we have to narrow that population down. Trust me, there's still going to be plenty of people in there that you couldn't even take care of them all. Okay. If you reached every single one who could relate to you. Now, things to think about when it comes to Speaking directly to your niche market, who you were, this ties back into your story. Who were you before Beachbody? Okay, if you signed up last month, who were you last month, the month before, the year before? 
Who were you? I have sat down, I wrote down some of mine. Who was I? I was a fitness instructor, an army wife, mom of three. I love hanging out with my family. I loved cleaning. I hate cleaning now. <laughs> I used to love cleaning. Um, and so it, it automatically I was like, oh my gosh, I never even share little tips like that, like, you know, fast cleaning tips or something. And, and when you go through this list, you'll think like, oh my gosh, easy. I could have shared that. Um, I just wrote a whole, a whole little list of who I was prior to Beachbody. Okay, because this is going to also help me relate to my niche where they might be. Because they're not a coach, right? And when I'm posting on social media, I'm looking for people that I want to be my clients or on my team. So who you were is going to help you relate to who they may be. Who you are now might be who they are. So writing a list of, okay, who am I now? What makes me? What are my hobbies? Um, things that I like, like to do. Things outside of Beachbody because a lot of times we become a coach, we're excited. We've got this amazing community. We've got the solution, right? And so we want to talk about just that. But it can't just be that. Who are you now? Who were you? You've got to relate to them in other ways, okay? Other ways. So not just Shakeology and the workout, but how is the personal development or your team or learning skills and tips on time management or just being in a group with women who encourage you or share recipes and save the day because now you know what to cook for dinner. How is that? Share it with people. And then who are you aspiring to be? This ties into your vision for your future, your goals. Who are you aspiring to be? Share it. Okay? And remember, who are you talking to? And what lingo are you using? Okay? Because you want to make sure that your niche can relate to them. And your niche is most of the time a lot like you. <laughs> And that's why these questions help. All right, you guys, things to think about. What do the people that I reach, and you want to start talking to your niche market, again, you don't want to just think about your friends that you went to high school with or your family members. You want to think about the niche that you're building, the market that you're building, okay? Think outside of the box. What do the people I reach care about? What does my niche care about? Am I attracting the people that I say are in my niche? Am I coming across as an amateur or a professional? Okay. Because um, I listened to, I think it was Christine Dwyer talk about this a little bit. And she was like, you know, I can always tell when a coach is desperate um, because they'll say, I only have two spots left in my challenge group, <laughs> you know? And I was like, dang, I've totally done that before. We all have, but if we're speaking their language, we don't have to feel desperate. If we're speaking their language on our social media, doing our social media well, but big point here and being consistent with our vital behaviors, inviting, forming, following up all those things. Okay. Um, when you were posting, think, how would I respond to this? So if you post something, you're like, I would totally score by that, you know? And that's one of the reasons that I am big on pictures. I love pictures, but I love looking at, I follow, or before I was ever a coach, the only time I was on social media was to look at bloggers or Pinterest, or I'm a picture, I'm a, I got to see it. You know what I'm saying? So I know that about me. So I try not all my pictures are perfect, but I try to create better content on the fly that, you know, I, is I popping as much as I can. And you need to think about that too. Maybe yours is not, you know, it has to be eye popping, but it has to be funny. Um, or it has to be relating to your kids. Think about those things and how would you respond to it? And then would I want to comment, share, or like this post? Because more than likely, if you don't want to comment on it, share it, or like it, then your niche person is not going to do any of those three things anyways. And when you're thinking about building your social media and building your business on social media, 
Those are three of the things that you're looking for. All right, last one on the slide. Remember, you are trying to find people you want to work with and build your team with. That's why we don't want to play desperate card. We don't want to just be like, hey, whoever wants to do this. Because in all actuality, although this might sound harsh, you may do that and invite someone into your business, your team, your family, this family, who would try to tear it apart or tear you down or bring negativity into the page, and we are not about that here. We are not about negativity and, and, and competing and tearing each other down. We're about lifting each other up, helping each other achieve their goals, become better versions of ourselves as possible, creating true change in our own lives and in the lives of each other and others outside of this team. So if we are inviting just anybody in and they don't care about all that and they think it's crazy and they don't get it, then they probably shouldn't be on your team anyways. Respect yourself as the CEO of your own business and put yourself out there proudly. You may not blow up overnight. As a matter of fact, I can promise you, you won't. <laughs> okay? I don't care if you were coaching or you went to some other business. It just doesn't work that way. It's time and consistency, but respect what you're growing and you'll attract the right people. All right, guys. So what does my Facebook wall say about me? That's one of the things that we have to ask ourselves. When we are building our business on social media, sometimes I have to scroll back through. I am telling you, just like I said, since the move here, I've had to sit down and I have note after note after note just to get myself back on track after the craziness that was this summer for me. Sometimes you have to do that and just scroll back through. I like to scroll through in the evenings and say, okay, what do I kind of think about this? And some nights I'm like, man, that was on point. It was good. Um, and it's funny because my husband, he doesn't have Facebook, but he totally stalks me on Facebook when he's on the toilet. And I'll walk in there and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm checking out your Facebook. So I'm like, okay, how did I do for the day? Check your Facebook out. Get some feedback, you know, from your husband or, or a family member once in a while. But make sure that you're, you're putting some good stuff out there. And I wanted to share just a few posts of some amazing coaches. One of our very own, uh, my coach, Amanda Chesney, she's absolutely phenomenal with her Facebook. You see her right here, Mom on a Mission. I mean, this woman is definitely speaking to her niche. She has gone through pregnancies, um, or a pregnancy, with uh, Beachbody, using it the entire way through. She has shared her entire story. I mean, she is awesome at speaking to her niche. I over here have to the right, this one um, with her cute little baby here. This is one of our 15 Star Diamond coaches in the corporation, Nikki Whiting. She does a phenomenal job on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm sure she has other social media sites, but I found her on those. And right here, she's just saying, my workout buddies were with me today. I couldn't, or I could have said, well, the baby won't nap and Sissy is home from school, but well, we made a dance party out of it and got through it and actually had some fun. What did she just do there? She just shared in her current situation the struggles and obstacles that she's having to face to be healthy and fit. And her niche market, moms of little babies, can totally relate. And so they can tell themselves, well, if she can do that, maybe I can too. That's what we want to be doing these the most valuable thing you have in this business remember you guys is you you and your story this awesome lady right here is I know her um I don't want to mess up her name at uh, Mollison or Sanderson or something at the end but I know her as Fit Frocker Chick that is what her life page is as well as I believe her Instagram as well but here she is she totally shares her stories and her struggles with um, adrenal fatigue, hyperthyroidism. Um, I mean, she's literally, and know this, it's taken her years, and she's gone through Shaleen's uh, Marketing Impact Academy uh, for years. She's now writing a book. She's written, she's written multiple. She's done all kinds of things, but only with adrenal fatigue. <laughs> and hyperthyroidism. Why? Because it's a big part of her story. And I was just thinking about Layla in our team. That girl rocks the type 1 diabetes, you know, world. She is sharing her story like a boss, and that's what we should be doing. 
in the middle, Michelle Myers, a totally different story. She is a pastor's wife. She is phenomenal, you guys. She just shares who she is, and she is unapolog you know, uh, unapologetic about her passion and love for Jesus Christ and others, um, and helping them grow in that relationship. I absolutely love it. So she ties it in just phenomenally with her coaching. And then you have um, Micah Folsom. She is really awesome too. I like this little post. Um, are you showing up for yourself today? I already know you're showing up for everybody else, but I want you to show up for you today. I love it because she has little ones too. Ma, you know, she's shown her pregnancy through her beach body journey and she is speaking to other moms who are so busy and stretched in the main places. And I'm sharing these different things because there are coaches out there who maybe don't have the exact same niche, but you can find someone that you can relate to and be inspired by. But here's what I will say. Don't compare. Okay. Be the CEO and be inspired and say, if they can do that, just like we want to inspire others, then I can do that too. All right, guys, using video to increase engagement. I said I would give this little tip. Melissa had given us um, this tip before, and there was one little part of the video that I went back and watched it a few times, and I was like, is it my internet? But I think it might have been hers. I'm not sure. Um, but I know she said it on the call, and I wanted to repeat it because since I have moved in, I've had to work really hard to get the engagement on my Facebook back up because I focused a lot on Instagram, especially during the move and just kind of shared, but Facebook has done so much with Facebook Live, and so I've got to get back on the game with that and get it going. Um, so one of the other things that I've been doing uh, until I get going with Facebook Live and really get that down is sharing other Facebook videos that already have like a ton of shares, a ton of comments, and a ton of likes, because if it's done really incredible on someone else's page, then nine times out of 10, as long as it speaks to your niche, it's going to do great on your page. So find the video that you want to share. Okay. So let's say you're scrolling through your Facebook and you find a video, like I posted a video tonight. If you go to um, Lisa Medina Fitness Fusion, you're going to see a video that has a sweet potato. And this video totally rocked my world. Like no lie. When I seen it, my jaw dropped and I was like, Oh, Totally would have never thought about that. I've got to do that for breakfast. It was amazing. They took the, the sweet potato and sliced it like a piece of bread. They put it in the toaster oven and they toasted it into a cloth and they put the egg on top and the avocado. And I mean, it looks amazing, right? And I just thought, oh my gosh, the best idea ever. My niche market would love this. So what you do is click on that video and when it opens up, okay, so when it actually opens up and the little bar, okay, I'm just going to say right here, but <clears throat> the little bar up here pops up and it says HTTP and it has a little backsplash, uh, backsplashes and everything. Normally right here where you see this M in front of the dot Facebook, it will normally say www dot. Erase the three W's, put the M, copy that, paste it, open it up, and that video is the one that you save, okay? Then you can attach the video. It'll be saved to your computer, or if you do it on your phone, to your phone. Then you can open it up. When you're making a post, type whatever you want to say, attach the video there, and it will show up on your page as if you created the video, but you're going to get a lot of engagement on it because it's still that video um, that's streaming on your page. I have a video, like I said, I'm going to be posting that as well. It's like a minute, 30 seconds long. That way, if you're visual like I am, you can see it. Okay. All right, you guys. <clears throat> Next, let's build some kick butt social media folders okay if you've been on the team wildfire page tonight you see that i just uploaded an instagram album to our photo section okay so we're going to have different photo albums that are categorized by um facebook instagram photo editing blogging 
Um, I put some posting calendars that uh, Becky had shared a while back. We had them on the team page, but I had to search and search and search. So I threw them in an album so that you guys can look at that. Um, and then I have some question marks because I want to ask you guys, what kind of things do you want to or need to learn more about in the social media world? What platforms are you really trying to learn more about? Um, things like that so that I know what to look out for. But even more importantly than that, if you have found a video, even in the past, it could be, you know, a little while back, but it absolutely gave you some tips that were phenomenal for one of these social media sites or building your business on social media, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's photo editing or something like that. And you know that this video is awesome, then send it to me. That way I can put it in these photo albums. And from this day forward, when you add a new coach or you need, you know, and they need to know how to to build their business on social media, or when you need to go back for a refresher on something, we have photo albums devoted to that, and you know where to send your people instead of being like, go check out YouTube. There's always a great beach body coach putting up some information. We have it there on our team, okay? Um, that's my heart. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and today I was busting some out, and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna open up the floor. Let me stop this share really quick. Oh, good. Now I can see all the faces. Now I feel like I'm actually talking to somebody. <laughs> hey, girl. At next week, my girl, my coach, my friend, she, uh, Kristen Evans, is going to be talking to us next week. So I'm really excited. You guys got to make sure that you mark your calendars and you are here. You do not want to miss it. But from tonight's topic, do I have any questions? Anything that you guys need to learn about? Or could you say, hey, maybe you're like, oh, I know a video that has to be shared with the team. It was really helpful for me. Anybody? Or it could be podcast, too. But I've been rocking YouTube lately. Do you, Kristen? Could you share the slides with us? Share them. Oh, from tonight? Yeah, share them on I the page can. so we can, or in the event, maybe. That would be good, yeah. Yes, I can do that. Let me write a note. All right, anybody else? Lisa. Uh-huh. Um, I was going to tell you, I have a really cool little picture that I can share in the team page that's about, um, like, questions that you can ask to help you write storytelling content posts. Ooh. Um, that would be there, awesome. There are questions on it, like, um, what does this remind me of? Why did I do whatever I did? Um, awesome. why does like something bother you? Like, um, and then one of the big ones that I've been using that has been getting a lot of engagement, um, when I use the question, what do you refuse to experience again? So like I did one where I was like, I was always a quitter and I've like never been able to like push through this and I refuse to feel like a quitter ever again. And it was like some, you know, like post I wrote out and I just had this picture, you know, just me, you know, but I just use that wording of like just explaining the story and people grab right onto that. So that's amazing. Yes. Um, please share. And then I'm going to save it too in a, in an album so that people like for years to come can find it. Yeah. Perfect. No, but there's like a bunch of little questions that'll like help that's out. It's awesome. just been amazing. So girl, you rock. Thank you so much. Of course. That's such a huge part of what we do, but sometimes it trips us up so much. Like we lived it, we walked through it, but it's hard to share it or even sometimes to think about it, right? Because we're so focused on the here and now. So that's going to be awesome. Thanks, girl. Anybody else? Don't be afraid to unmute yourself. This is your team family. <laughs> if you want it, or if you're just like, I don't have anything to add to you, but I really got to learn more about Instagram or I got to learn more about whatever. And you guys will see Instagram was the first uh, album that I put up tonight. I'm still working on it. Those are not all the videos, but there are some fun ones that I was like, you know what? I'm throwing these in here because they were from some younger bloggers <clears throat> who are like huge on Instagram but they're fun and funny and, and pretty short and to the point, but they show some really awesome tips and tricks. And there's even some really great ones on photo editing. Now, let me tell you guys this. 
okay? Before you guys go watch these videos and you think, oh my gosh, my page has to look perfect and it has to be um, all gray and black, gray and black, white, gray and black, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see the video, but I want you guys to know this, okay? One, don't waste your time making your stuff look perfect. Trust me, I've done it, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Ain't worth it. It's not what's going to bring in the money to your business. Because when you're listening to um, someone who just needs to be Instagram famous, okay, and they build legit businesses like that, but that's all they're doing. They're not coaching coaches, leading challenge groups doing all these things, but then they have all day to sit around for hours and take fun pictures everywhere and then go back and edit them. You don't have that, nor would your niche market be able to completely relate if everything that you did was perfect. However, this is what I will say. You do need to learn how to take a good photo. You do need to know how to take a good selfie. And if anyone knows how to do that, it's the young 20 somethings that are all up and down Instagram blogging and they got the tips and the tricks and the, I mean they show me stuff I was like ah, I never would have known never would have known so check it out take remember you're the CEO take what is good for you what you need to know and leave the rest don't you ain't got time to be wasting on beating up yourself or comparing yourself or anything else get the tips moving on build your business because these videos are awesome um, and they can be used for Facebook too because you, you do, I mean, if you're, if you're trying to catch people's attention and there does need to be some posts, like let's say it's your join my sneak peek or you're talking about coaching or you're talking about your challenge group, sometimes you gotta dress it up a little bit, okay? So um, these are gonna be some helpful things to help you do that. Let me see, I, I ignored a few chats. You are so welcome, girl. I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And Tammy, you have been doing amazing. I love, I loved having you guys in the Push to Diamond training. You guys are rocking it. All right, guys, if there's nothing else, there's no questions for me, there's um, no tips, ideas, whatever, then I will let you guys know. Please remember, always, Team page is there. If you have something helpful to share, it's back to the John C. Maxwell. I was thinking about that today. As a matter of fact, I'm about to hang up my little whiteboards again. Finally, they're going to have their home. Those are like my grounding boards, and I've missed them. I've already put my apply, change, and teach. It's the ACT. So at the end of the day, I can say, what am I going to apply? Okay, so if I watched a little YouTube video, if you guys go check out these little videos and the Instagram thing, Write down, what am I gonna apply? Maybe it's something small, like taking your selfie in the mirror like this so it looks different. You'll see the video, it's awesome. Anyways, I haven't done it yet, gotta try it. So gotta apply it, right? And then what are you gonna change? I'm gonna change, you know, thinking that I have to look like that 20 year old who is doing that perfect little thing. What, I mean, I don't know what it is. What are you gonna change? And then teach, what are you gonna teach and share with your team? with this team, with your friends, and your niche market on social media. Make sure that you guys are thinking about that each and every day. And the more that every one of us do that, the more that we'll grow. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else. Girl, we are not old. <laughs> exactly, we're not old, but I have to make fun of them. Yeah. Now, the ones that I shared I thought were pretty awesome. Um, but there were a few that I watched that I was like, what? <laughs> Anyways, that's just me, y'all. I was having fun with it. it. It made a great day for me. It was very entertaining. Um, all right, you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you guys next week. Chris, I can't wait to hear you next week. It's going to be an awesome call, you guys. All right. Love you. Take care. <laughs>